today's topic is cluster points of a net as we have earlier discussed cluster points of a sequence in a topological space and we know that a net is a generalization of concept of a sequence so today we will see that the concept of cluster points of a net in a topological space is similar to the concept of cluster points of a sequence in a topological space. Let us define cluster points of a net. Let xt be a topological space and let f be a net in x. Then a point x0 in x is said to be a cluster point of the net f if and only if f is frequently in every neighborhood of x0. Let us consider an example. Suppose f is a mapping from set n of natural numbers to the set of real numbers. And since n is a directed set, directed by the usual order, uh, so n is uh, f is a net in R. And suppose this is defined as f of n is equal to minus 1 when n is an odd natural number and f of n is equal to n by 2 when n is an even natural number. Then we find that minus 1 is a cluster point of this net f. Why? Because if we consider a neighborhood, uh, suppose open interval with um, end points minus 2, 0. Then this is a neighborhood of minus 1 and we find that uh, f of 2 that is equal to 1 doesn't belong to this neighborhood. But um, if we take f of 3, f of 3 is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 belongs to this. So for every um, even natural number n, we can find a natural number uh, n plus 1. Uh, such that f of n plus 1 is equal to minus 1 and this belongs to open interval minus 2 and 0. So, uh, we see that minus 1 is a cluster point of f, but no other real number is a cluster point of this net. And here we know that this net does not converge to minus 1 because we cannot find any natural number such that after that natural number images of all the elements under f belong to interval with end points minus 2 and 0. So here minus 1 is the only cluster point of this net. Now uh, we will consider a problem let n be the set of natural numbers with um, and this is directed by greater than or equal to relation and f from n to r is a mapping defined in such a way that f of n is equal to the set of rational numbers q then we have to find the cluster points of net f now uh, consider any real number x and suppose m is a neighborhood of uh, um, real number x. As m contains infinitely many rational numbers because we know that um, uh, x is a real number so uh, any neighborhood is an open interval containing x and if, uh, that neighborhood contains infinitely many rational numbers. And so, for any uh, n, any natural number n belongs to n, there exists m in n, m greater than or equal to n, such that f of m belongs to m. Here we note that if we say that for some n belongs to n, there does not exist any natural number m, m greater than or equal to n, such that f of m belongs to m or we can say that f of m doesn't belong to m for all m greater than or equal to n then m would contain finite number of rational numbers and we know that m contains infinitely many rational numbers 
so this is not possible and so uh, for each n belongs to n there exists some m in n such that f of m belongs to n and in this way we can say that x is a cluster point of f as x is any uh, arbitrary um, real number so every real number is a cluster point of f now we have a theorem which states that let x t be a topological space a point x naught in x is a cluster point of net f x a greater than or equal to if and only if there exists a subnet g x b greater than or equal to star of f which converges to x naught let us prove this theorem let f have a subnet g which converges to x naught then we have to prove that x naught is a cluster point of f let n be a neighborhood of x naught and a naught be an element of set a as g is a subnet of f so there exists a mapping phi from b to a satisfying two conditions uh, that is g is equal to f composition f n for each a in a there exists p in p such that phi of x is greater than or equal to a for all x greater than or equal to b star b in p so by condition 2 for a not in a there exists b not in b such that phi of x is greater than or equal to a not for every x in b greater than or equal to star p not here we are writing the condition 2 uh, for particular element a not of directed set a as g converges to x not so by definition g is eventually in each neighborhood of x not and hence g is frequently in each neighborhood of x not and since g is a mapping from set directed set b to x and so for b not in b there exists an element p in b p greater than or equal to star b not such that g of p belongs to neighborhood n of x not let phi of p is equal to q since phi is a mapping from b to a so phi of p belongs to a so if we write phi of p is equal to q then um, q belongs to set a as p is greater than or equal to star p not so by condition 2 phi of p is greater than or equal to a not that means q is greater than or equal to a not now we know that f of q is equal to f of phi of p since q is equal to phi of p that means f composition phi of p and we know that f composition phi is nothing but g so g of p and we know that g of p belongs to n in this way we have shown that f of q belongs to n that means we have shown that for a not in a there exists q in a q greater than or equal to a not such that f of q belongs to n so f is frequently in the neighborhood n of x not as n is an arbitrary neighborhood of x not so x not is a cluster point of f conversely let x not be a cluster point of net f x a greater than or equal to and let n of x not be the collection of all neighborhoods of x not for any two neighborhoods l m of x not l intersection m is also a neighborhood of x not we know that intersection of any two neighborhoods of a point is also a neighborhood of that point so l intersection m is also a neighborhood of x not as x not is a cluster point of f 
so f is frequently in each member of n of x now we know that if h x a greater than or equal to is a net in x and c is a collection of subsets of x such that h is frequently in each member of c and for any two members l m of c there exists the member k of c such that k is contained in the intersection of l and m then there exists a subnet of h which is eventually in each member of c we have proved this result earlier and here we note that f satisfies all the conditions here because f is a net in x and n of x not is a collection of subsets of x such that f is frequently in each member of n of x not and for any two neighborhoods l and m of x not there exists a neighborhood l intersection m contained in l intersection m and so all the conditions are satisfied so from this result we can say that there exists a subnet g of f which is eventually in each member of n of x not that is there exists a subnet g of x f which is eventually in every neighborhood of x not that means there exists a subnet g of f which converges to x not thank you